Andre, welcome to Fright Fest. Well, thanks for having me. It's oh, great yeah, to be here. This is an amazing event. Weekend. It's such a great festival. I've seen you taking in all the action this weekend. Uh, what films have you seen that you've really loved? Oh, you know, I, I'm going to have to say, like, my double bill yesterday was I call my musical day. I saw Joseph Kahn's Body, which I hadn't been able to see all year. And I saw my good friend John McPhail's And in the Apocalypse, which is amazing. I also saw, uh, I, I'm still absorbing and, and, and figuring out how I feel about Incident in a Ghostland beautifully made movie Man, um, hard story to like get through and grind through I mean it's really like that's a tooth grinder right uh, and then um, I, I got to see a good pal of mine Matt Mercer's movie um, Dementia 2 or Dementia Part 2 which is not a sequel to anything which is what makes it even funnier but uh, Matt and I have been pals for a couple of years and uh, our other friend Graham Skipper's in it. So when you're filmmakers and you know people and you get to see other people's movies in the same yeah. thing, that makes it really kind of special. You're not just walking around sort of being, you know, not attached, not attached to anything. So this is a great event. They did a good programming. And boy, if I could have seen everything on that list, I think I would have. That's I'll have to take some time to, though. Yeah, there's only like 70 films to get through. So it's way too much. You can do it. It's way too much, yes. I know people that try to charge that out. I was like... More power to you, man. I need a little nap here every once in a while. I think I've got to 45. By the end of the day, I've done 45 or 70. So that's a lot. That's all right. So Good. one of the ones I have watched is Wolfman's Got Nards. Fantastic. Um, I have never seen The Monster Squad. Okay. So I kind of feel like it gave me a different appreciation of this documentary because I really want to now see The Monster Squad. Right. But I felt like it was also a love letter to cult film in general and the fans and how they take films. So tell me a little bit about why you decided to do this. Right. So. The original inspiration for this documentary was, after the last 10 or 12 years, sort of being, you know, sort of the the, the gateway, the face of Monster Squad to kind of the fan world, that I just get to meet and go all over the world to conventions and screenings and private appearances and things like that, to hear these amazing stories that these fans say how much the movie The Monster Squad means to them. And after a while, you start to realize that that's not just a flippant response or, 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 or something that doesn't mean anything. It really means something to these people. And I started to realize that after a number of years, after hearing those stories over and over again. And about two years ago, I started thinking, how, would, how do you tell those stories? How do you make their stories a story? And that was the original inspiration for putting a documentary together. Now, fast forward a couple months after that, and I hooked up with my producer, Henry McComas, at 1620 Media and Pilgrim Media Group, and just struck the lottery with those guys. And because they're fans too, and they jumped on this project, so no one involved in this film is not a part of it or didn't be affected by it. So all of that passion and that heartfelt kind of effort went into it and it shows on the screen with this documentary, I think. Um, but it's really more than just a, it's not a fan doc about Monster Squad. It's not a definitive making of doc. It's none of those. What this documentary really is, is it's a, it's a story about a relationship between fans and their favorite film. Some of their favorite uh, film so is The Monster Squad. Had, it might be also, it transcends into other people that Monster Squad is not their favorite film. It could be E.T. or it could be Back to the Future or it could be Close Encounters of the Third Kind or it could be Suspiria. And to show how much the genre community is a tight-knit group but also just the film community and to really see how something really affects somebody. Uh, and it's, so the doc's a little more multi-layered. And um, in my mind, what I really like about the final product with this documentary is that it's a story of full circle stories. And there's there's a full 30, 30 year story going on with this movie. And hopefully this documentary kind of brings that all home. And uh, whether you're a celebrity and, this, and you like this movie or you're talking about the movie you love or whether you're a filmmaker now that was inspired by this movie or a creature maker and now you're one of the best creature makers in the industry or you're a fan in Phoenix, Arizona or in, you know, Leicester Square in London that still means something to you. We're all, we're all the same. We're just fans of movies and how those can bring you together.